Hi, today we are at IDEC 2025 on Saffron Bruce. We are here to find out more about the solution displayed here on this show. I'm meeting our new joint venture, Vision for Optronics and Navigation, uh, which is a UE company. It's a joint venture with International Golden Group, part of Edge Group, and this is making my Edge exhibition 2025 very special. So we're uh, capitalizing on over 25, 30 years of presence here in the UAE uh, for land forces, for UAE Navy, as well as for uh, also uh, Air Force. Uh, we've been uh, supporting them all over these years. They've been using our hardware, thousands of products here. Now we are switching, we're making a big move, switching to a local uh, settlement that will allow us to do local support, shorter lead times, and of course, implement local manufacturing here from UAE, by UAE teams. And we're here to stay, develop our knowledge and uh, manufacturing capabilities here in the UAE. So it's a big ambition we have developed over the past years with our long-term partner, International Golden Group. Now it's coming to life. It's been inaugurated last week, last Thursday, February 13th. And uh, it's changing our, our uh, way to operate here very deeply because we will have made in UAE solutions to serve our end users. Uh, and this is uh, something we've been thinking about for many years. Now it's coming to life. We hope it will be a game changer for us in the frame of uh, the coming big programs for UAE and regional uh, forces. So the topic of today is the Euroflir 410. Here we are at the cutting edge of the technology in Europe because this gimbal, it's an amazing gimbal with a 5.0 kg, we are full embedded uh, a sensor pack unit. In this sensor pack unit, you've got 11 sensors, optical sensors, lasers, and one EMU. Here you can see the whole package of the Euroflare 410, the gimbal itself, and the simulation system which is very, very useful for the operational people who want to play with this gimbal. Because 11 sensors means a lot of capability for the Eurofier 410. This gimbal is fully integrated on all the fleet of Airbus helicopters. Okay, we are integrated on different kinds of helicopters. So rotary wings, fixed wings, of course, and UAV. Because UAV is a mass production, so it is very, very useful for Safran Electronic and Defense. The capability with this kind of gimbal are amazing, operationally speaking. You are able to detect a main battle tank up to 50 kilometers, and you are able to identify clearly the main battle tank around 20 kilometers. So it is amazing capability for, for the operational uh, uh, user. On the other side, inside this gimbal, we've got an EMU. With this EMU, you know exactly where you are in the sky. And inside the gimbal, we've got all the, all the map of the world, a digital map of the world, and we know exactly each point of the Earth. So with that, you can easily have the distance between you and the, uh, the target you aim on, a, on the ground. And because of this capability, when you've got the positive identification, you are full lock on this positive identification, and it is not possible to lose your target. When the target is locked, you can do what you want with your aircraft. The line of sight will be stick on the target. We start with our product. I mean, uh, the one which is uh, on board already, I mean, the Benuna class, which is the IRST. Then uh, the Vampire, which is infrared search and track system within one hertz, like a radar. Passive radar, of course. Combined, we want to add the capability with the identification. This one is the detection, the identification with the PASIO XLR. The particularity of the PASIO XLR is modular and maintainable on board. That means you can change any part of the equipment on board within 30, 30 minutes and without alignment. Then the ship will be operational all the time. We have multiple sensors inside. The packaging is done uh, to, to be uh, sustainable and, uh, and also operational for a naval uh, ship. You have the IR, the TV camera as usual, but in addition, the SWIR camera allow you to see over the fog, and the spotter TV and the spotter IR. Uh, this could uh, assist, I mean, the spotter like a telescope could, uh, could assist you, I mean, to detect up to the horizon with multiple 
sensor which allow you, I mean, to see in all the time, night, day, and also a foggy day. The VG Observer, the VG4, which is the middle class, you have the Paseo and uh, the middle class, I mean, the VG Observer, which have the same, absolutely the same sensor except, of course, the spotter because of the size, but can handle, I mean, around the ship up to six, seven kilometers, a small target. Additional to the, the Optronic, we have the, our INS on board, the Argonix, real high reliability based on hemispheric resonator gyro. We have a very high MTBF, and with also the navigate here, which Geonix M inside, and in addition, a new layer, which is the VersaSync, which analyzes, I mean, the GPS uh, signal and process the, sig uh, the, the GPS signal in order to avoid the jamming and the spoofing. Thanks to this, I mean, uh, we are able, if there's any uh, issue with the signal, with the GPS signal, to switch to the position. That means the ship know his position with inertial navigation. Skyjacker is a cutting-edge solution suitable for land and uh, sea applications. So exactly as Nasser just presented below with uh, what we call NAVKITE and the interference detection and mitigation for protection of a platform, here we aim to protect at longer ranges by having an offensive solution against U.S. threats. Skyjacker is based on GNSS spoofing and is having a lot of interest here in the region in order to protect as well harbors as naval uh, platforms that can be subject to uh, drone threats, either airborne or based on the surface that can navigate thanks to GNSS signals. So Skyjacker is used with several sensors in order to detect and identify the kind of threats and conduct the best answer in terms of jamming or spoofing uh, regarding uh, soft kill measures as well as hard kill measures because as you know we already integrate Silas in Safran Group who is conducting some trials based on laser guns that can answer to uh, another kind of threat.